Google and Nest integration has officially started and I'm going to tell you, don't click that migrate button just yet. Let me give you all of the details you need. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take the frustration out of automation by ensuring you have all the details you need for this latest option to come from Google and Nest. And this has been something that has been talked about for a little while here on the channel, but not everyone is totally aware of the impact of what this will do and what this means for you going forward. What is this all about? Well, the Works with Nest program is ending, basically Google has decided to merge Nest and Google into one platform and that platform will be called the Works with Google Assistant platform. Now that means essentially that all of your automation will be brought under your Google Home or Google Assistant enabled products and Nest's products will be folded under that. So in the end what this will look like to you as a consumer is your Google Home application will end up managing everything. Now right now the Nest application still exists and the Google Home and Google Assistant applications still exist in their entirety. But as you log into the Nest application here, once you've updated it to its latest version in Android and iOS, what you're going to find is a screen pops up and it says, hey, do you want to migrate your account to a Google account? So stop using this Nest account because it's not as secure, it's not as private. We want to give you some, some better functionality here in the future so go ahead and migrate that account now I'm going to tell you to pause right here put on your brown pants and hit the not now button so I can show you what it is you're about to lose as you do this so up in the top right of the nest application you're going to hit the settings button and then you're gonna scroll down to the works with nest program and once you go inside of there anything listed here will lose the connectivity to your nest products and what that also means is you're about to lose all of the automations that you've set up so you know for example here in my home I had if this then that in this list. I also had something related to my action tiles with smart things so I could view my nest cams both of those integrations would instantly break and that meant that I would no longer through if this then that when my nest protects uh, alarmed and said there was a smoke or a CEO problem in my home I would no longer have my wise cams trigger a recording of that situation now that is integration that I would instantly lose and not be able to get back if I migrate that account. Now, why would we do this? Well, in the end, we're going to have to do this, but right now we still have a choice. What Google is telling us, and if we take them at their at face value for what they're saying, they're saying the Google account is better at privacy and security. And I will tell you that, you know, reading a number of reports, also seeing how the two-factor authentication works with the Nest accounts versus the different ways that I can authenticate with Google accounts, yeah, I. I can see how there's a much better security capability on the Google account side. I can also understand Google's wants to merge these two giant platforms into one and really create a very consistent smart home experience for anyone utilizing their products. The process itself is extremely simple. Once you hit that migrate button, Google inside of the Nest application is really taking you through a bunch of next buttons and a lot of of text to read. I mean, there's a lot of different things that they're throwing at you in terms of privacy, in terms of the process, in terms of what's going to happen, and those connected services that you're about to lose. It allowed me to migrate the Nest Home I had and the Google Home that I had into a Google Nest Home. So it was literally the name of their brand. And I thought that was kind of neat actually, but that's what it became. And the name of my home was whatever I wanted it to be. And then I could share it with either sets of the individuals that were shared within either application. So for me, my wife has access in the Google Home application, but has never used the Nest application. But now with the migration, she has access to all of the different devices. But what did this mean for the applications? Well, the short answer is 
nothing. The Nest application did not lose any features. It did not lose any screens. Nothing really changed inside the Nest application except for the account page where it said I had a different account that was logged in there. The Google Home application really didn't change either, at least not yet, and we will see changes as we go forward, but there's really nothing there today that has changed. So in the end, while this doesn't change a lot, what we are going to see over time is some of these new features get put into the works with Google Assistant program and therefore the Google Home application. Now, once they've replaced a lot of your uh, capabilities that you have in that Nest application, you should receive an email from Google. So they will actually tell you once they've replaced some of these into integrations and there are a few that they've already done some work with the home and away program nope not done early 2020 but if you read some of the fine print it looks like routines are going to get some of those adjustments we've all been looking for where we get some of that automation capability where we can trigger off of events in our smart home and trigger devices to do different things or trigger modes like home in a way. Now, the if this then that capability, really that also wasn't talked about. Something that already has a replacement is Amazon's voice assistant. So if you go ahead and you do the migration, you actually have to then go inside of Amazon's voice assistant application disable the old Nest skill and go to the Google Nest skill or go find the new Google Nest skill and it instantly worked for me. It was instantly there and installed and working within minutes and I was able to ask about my cameras once again. Unlike me guys, you still have a choice. You don't have to go ahead and migrate. There's no requirement for you to do it and given what I'm seeing out of Google here in terms of saying something like the home and away feature not getting into the Google Home application until 2020, I mean, it's hard for them to force us all to migrate. Now, what's happening on August 31st is you will no longer be able to create any new automations or any new connections with your Nest products. That will be locked down. Anything you have right then and there that is still integrated with Nest will continue to work until you migrate or until we're forced to migrate. So again, I think Right now you hold off and as we go here on Automate Your Life, I will keep you as up to date as I can with the new features. You're going to be able to see them through me and I'm going to be able to recommend when it is time to go ahead and migrate that account. Now, the other component for you is if you're worried about some of the security and privacy issues, Google's giving us more control over privacy and those security issues, you know what? it is going to be better with a Google account. So you can gain a little bit by doing this now. So now with a video like this, I'm sure this is helping a lot of people. And of course, you wanna stick with the channel. You wanna make sure that you're getting this kind of news and how to handle things that are this big in our smart homes. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise guys, of course, don't hate, automate.